Six weeks later, the installation is complete. It's time to test the catapults. If they get every plane launched not too fast, not too slow. Set 220 on 4. This is the first time Truman's number 4 catapult will be fired. Here we go. Roger, 458 clear. Three, two, one, fire! That's great. That was a good shot. Sleds of differing weights simulate various combat aircraft. The testing program goes on for two days. Each sled is launched at a number of different steam pressures and valve settings. If the sled goes off too slow, steam pressure is gradually increased until the proper launch speed for an aircraft of that weight is achieved. Sergeant Rions, I guess. <laughs> He's about to take a swim. The seriousness of the testing program can't prevent the Navy crew from sending a symbolic message to an old rival. Hi, I'm Tom Otterbein. I'm the uh, CEO of uh, America's newest nuclear powered carrier, the Harry S. Truman. And uh, my crew and I are trying to get ready for the uh, Army Navy game. We're making an effort to show the Navy Brigade of Midshipmen that the uh, fleet supports their efforts. And we've got our uh, mule up here on top so that when it hits the water, it should explode pretty well. Well, it sure looks like the Army to me, the way he's sitting, his posture, you know, the tongue hanging out, buck teeth. Stand by! From the flight deck of America's newest nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, the Harry S. Truman, to the Brigade of Midshipmen. Go Navy! Splash Army!